what a beautiful day. Or will it be? Ha <laughs> ha. Have you ever been wrong? Have you ever said I was wrong and I'm sorry? And I'm coming at you from one of the most extreme places in New Zealand where it's hot, cold, windy, uh, rainy, sunny, snowy, misty, frosty, the whole bit. And the reason I share that with you is that the weather people often get it wrong. Have you noticed? Uh, it's supposed to be hot today, it ends up being cold. It's supposed to be rainy today, it ends up being sunny. It's supposed to be summertime and ends up snowing, which is today. It's just so beautiful. It's one of the things I love about living in one of the most extreme places in the world. Uh, it's different every single day. But it's interesting that the weather people who are often wrong don't usually say, oh, we're very sorry we were wrong. They usually come up with a whole heap of reasons as to why we were wrong, but never, I'm sorry we were wrong. And I share that with you because wouldn't it be nice to live in a world where if you make a mistake, if you are wrong, you admit it, you fix it, and you get better because of it. And I don't think that happens too often, but I want to be that person. And the reason for that is I think that proves that we're learning and growing. If I say something, do something, believe something, and then I say, I'm sorry, I was wrong, doesn't that prove that I'm learning? Because if I'm always right, wow, isn't that amazing? And I never make a mistake, wow, aren't you awesome? And I'm never wrong, wow. <laughs> Have you met some of those people that are never wrong? And even when they are wrong, they would never admit it. Well, again, I'm going to share, I don't want to be that person. So I'm constantly learning and growing and studying and training and educating so that whatever I think is right today, uh, I'd like to prove myself wrong. I'd like to say I, I learned something, but because I'm learning more, I was wrong or it's now different or it's better or it's changed. So I'll give you an example. I, was, I have been an exercise professional for over 40 years, managed health clubs around the world and have been quite strong on some beliefs about how you should exercise until I learned how the human body works. And the reason I had a certain view of exercise was I came into a profession where everyone seemed really impressive. Uh, people had lots of people in their classes or they had lots of members at their gym or they had lots of qualifications after their name or they were a doctor or an exercise physiologist or they were very impressive. So I believed them and I took on their information and I delivered that information as if it was my own. So people believed me because I was very passionate about my information. But I was wrong. <laughs> I like to say it out loud. I was wrong because I didn't study my anatomy and physiology. I didn't learn for myself. So consequently, the information that I was giving out, it was wrong. And I remember the, the very first time I stood in front of one of my group exercise classes and I, I came through the the 80s where group exercise classes, it wasn't uncommon to have 100, 200, sometimes 300 or more people in a class. I remember standing in front of my class, I was in Brisbane, Australia, I had over 100 people in my class and I stood up and I said, I'm very sorry, I was wrong. There's been a few exercises that have been in my class that now that I understand how the human body works, I've learnt my anatomy and physiology and I'm going to keep learning every day so I don't make the same mistakes over and over. These are the exercises we're taking out of the classes and these are the reasons why. And I felt so proud to be wrong. I felt honoured to share with people that I had learnt and now I know that I was wrong. It was a highlight of my career path. And I learned from that day forward that whatever I'm doing, there's going to be a day where it's either going to be wrong or because of technology or because of ongoing study and education and training, that what we think is right now, what we think is the best way to do something now, in the future, that could be the really silliest way to do it or it could be wrong. So unlike politicians and meteorologists and people who give us information on a day-to-day -day basis who seem very, and I always have a giggle about this, have you ever heard a politician say, I'm sorry, I was wrong? doesn't matter what they did to us, what uh, information they gave us, what kind of rules they put into place, what kind of policies they've showered upon us, it seems that they're always right. And I would just love it one day. I'd love this. This would be a very cool day, don't you think? Where you hear a politician somewhere say, look, I'm very sorry. The information we gave you was wrong. We're not going to do that again because we've learned. Wouldn't that just be the most awesome thing? Now, I can't get politicians to do anything. I can't change the human race. All I know is that I don't want to be the person that if I'm wrong, continues to tell people that I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm proud to say so. 
and you'll hear this often on Romax, from this day, day forward uh, and this day backwards, it doesn't matter, I'm constantly learning and growing and studying and educating to get better and to learn more. So when you hear me say whatever I said back there was wrong, it, it, it will be something that I'm really proud of sharing with you because I want all of us to be living our life to the max. And how can you possibly live your life to the max if you're not learning and growing? And if you are learning and growing, is it possible that there'll come a time when you were wrong? One of the other great questions I always ask though, is it, is it better to be nice or better to be right? So often uh, in a conversation, for example, if I want to communicate effectively, I'm happy to be wrong because I want the other person to feel good. I don't, I'm not that person who wants to fight my point of view to prove myself right. I'm happy to be wrong. In fact, I'll put it like this. If somebody says uh, they make a statement and it might be something that I don't agree with, I just say, well, you're right. And the reason I say that is because they believe that they're right, they're passionate about it, and I don't want to prove them wrong for what point. I would rather be nice than be right. And maybe the world would be a nicer place if there was a bit more of that going on. Now, of course, I'm, uh, I, don't want, I don't want to give the impression that uh, Rowie just uh, tells people what they want to hear because I certainly don't do that. But I definitely don't want to be the person that makes somebody feel awkward or uncomfortable because they're passionate about something that may not technically be right. So how do we make the world a better place? Isn't that the hugest bazillion dollar question? What if we were admitted we were wrong? What if we uh, aim to learn and grow and study and educate and train so that we get better and better so that we could be, even if we're right now, we could be more right in the future? And the things that people get wrong all the time, we could probably just giggle about it. I hear people, particularly where I live, they get really angry with the meteorologists because they often get it wrong. Well, the meteorologists are only human and perhaps humans get stuff wrong. How about that? The government's going to get stuff wrong. They probably won't admit it. But you know what? We're all humans and we all make mistakes. So how about we learn from our mistakes, get better and grow and live our life to the max? Wouldn't that be awesome? So you can sing like I do every single day. I feel good. No, 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 no. I knew that I would now because I'm often wrong and I'm happy to admit it. Woohoo! <laughs>